So, for our lesson, we're going to talk about, well, first, I'll just ask you, have you ever played rock, paper, scissors before? Mm -hmm. Have you ever played rock, paper, scissors, like, if you and your brother, maybe, if y'all were disagreeing on something, have you ever played rock, paper, scissors to help you make a decision? Like, whoever gets, whoever wins gets to, like, make the choice? Have you ever done that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, another question for you. Have you ever played like a team sport, like not at school, but like with the rec department or something like baseball, basketball, soccer, anything like that? Like you played a game with the team? Did you like it? Was it fun? Did you ever have anybody on your team that maybe that didn't show good sportsmanship? Do you know what that means? What does good sportsmanship mean? Be good and like be a good partner. Like, is there anything, any kind of characteristic or something that you can think of that like someone who's a good sport would have? Maybe. So, if we were in a class, I would ask you to talk to your partner about this about what some things that a good character in sports could have. But since it's just me and you, we'll kind of just discuss it. Do you think somebody that is a good sport, maybe you have a good attitude while you're playing? What about if every time they strike out at baseball, or if they just throw the bat and get mad, would that be being a good sport? No, it probably wouldn't. Can you think of something that would be like an example of a good sport? Mm. When you bat, if you miss all the balls, then like, don't get super mad and throw stuff. You don't get mad, even if you miss? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so for our game today, what we're going to do is, if we were in a classroom, you would get with a partner, or maybe if we had like a really big class, you would get in like a group of people, you would get to pick. And what we're going to do for our game, you're going to practice communicating. Do you know what communicating means? Mm, talking to other people. Yeah, like talking. Yeah, we're going to practice communicating with our team by doing like a game. And the kind of game that we're doing, it's, okay. What you have to do, since it's already set up, I went ahead and set it up for us. Um... We okay, so for our game, this is going to be called Race to Communicate. And what we have to do, these cards that are flipped over, they have your locomotor skills on it. Do you remember what locomotor skills are? To talk to some other people. No, locomotor skills. Remember, like... Um, to get somewhere to another place. Yeah, to something we do to get to another place. Yeah, right. So, each of these cards are going to have locomotor skills, and, and you see each of the blue lines? That is where you stop, and we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. Each line, and then we have to communicate with each other what, like, okay, so say I win whenever I get right here. I'm going to pick up my card, and then I have to tell you my card says to do this, and then we have to do that to get to the next one, and then... Are you the same? Yep, we oh. do it together because we're a team. All right, and then probably so the trickiest. We'll I'll, I'll do the same thing. Yeah, but we'll just keep going and we'll stop at each of the blue lines and then pick up a card, whoever wins. But the thing that you need to remember is, okay, so say if I win on this first one, I'm going to bring the card with me to this one and then... If you win on this one, we're going to pick up your card, put the card from the first one, and bring this card with us. Okay? Does that make sense? So that way, whenever we get done, if we want to go back through backwards, we can. We don't have to reset up the cards. We just kind of keep them set up as we go. All right? Let's do our purposes. You ready? All the rules are we have to be good sports for this. So... Whenever we get to the end, we're gonna, what do we do at the end of a game if we're a good sport? Maybe like cheer or clap or high five each other? 
Yeah? You can do that. Okay, we'll have five whenever we get all the way to the end. All right. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh. Oh, okay, I win. So I get to pick up this one. All right, and it says run. So we're going to Oh, we have to bring it with us. We're going to run to this one. All right. Do rock, paper, scissors again. Oh, you win. So you pick up yours. Walk. Okay, it says walk. So we're going to walk to this one. All right. Oh, gotcha. Oh, this one says hop. How do we hop? I forgot how to hop. Uh, hop. Is that the one that's one foot or two feet? One foot. Okay. So you do one foot, and then go. All right. You got paper scissors. Oh, you got me. Jump. Okay. Is that the one with, since we just did the one, okay. All right, oh, I'm gonna fall over. All right, shoot, shoot. Oh, you got me again. Is it, what is it? Hot. Okay, that's the one with one foot I remember now. All right. Oh, you're getting good. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you got me again. What is that? Three in a row? Mm -hmm. Gallop. Gallop, all right. Oh, yeah. We did it right. I did it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yay, we finished. So we got to get five fives, remember, because we're good sports. Oh, good job. So since we're done with our game, did you think of any new ways that we could become a good sport? Be nice to other people and show good sportsmanship to other people so they mm -hmm. can do it and spread it. Yeah. Is there anything that you could think of now since we kind of since we kind of acted it out a little bit being a good sport, is there anything else that you could think of that would make somebody a bad sport? Mm -hmm. Swing their bat and like not pay attention to the balls and yeah. be a bad leader yeah being a bad leader that's a really good one um so since we talked about um rock paper scissors is there any new ways that you could think of using that in your real life mm. whoever bats first like you can do rock paper scissors and then whoever wins gets to bat first do you think if you do that that it would kind of cut down on some of the being a bad sport because I mean, if you make the agreement that whoever wins gets to make the decision, it's kind of hard to be mad about it. Like, if you're the winner, then you get to do it. Do you think that would help take out some of the bad sportsmanship? Uh, I think. Yeah, it probably would. All right, well, that is our lesson. Good job. Let's show our good sportsmanship again. Good job.